not a good night for the Minutemen. Certainly not indicative of uh, our talent level nor our discipline. We have a much better team than we revealed tonight. Unfortunately, we've got a game on Tuesday so that we can move forward as quickly as possible off of this one. Take questions. Coach, can you talk about the decision process to arrive at, um, you know, starting Jeff and Matt tonight? Uh, just strictly, you know, based on the evaluation of the staff and practice over the course of the last week, and then a little bit on, the, uh, you know, on the evaluation of the game at Maine on Friday. So it all, all played into the decision to give Jeff a start tonight. So Kevin's not hurt or anything? Kevin's not hurt, no, sir. No. Were, you, were you thinking maybe of three games in five nights, spreading it out, you know, too? Uh, no, we were thinking about winning tonight, so uh, I, I try not to allow our players to live in the past or think about the future. So uh, we thought uh, Jeff would give us the best opportunity based on how he's practiced. Uh, and that was why he got to start tonight. We obviously did not do a very good job of helping him in his first uh, first action of the season by our play in front of him. It did look like the energy level was all a little early, even though he looked a little shaky in the first couple of saves. Is is that the way you saw it? I, I'm sorry, could you say that? It, it looked like the energy level was mostly toward goal, even in the early going. Yeah, I didn't think that we played with the pace. Uh, we held on to the puck way too long, uh, which, you know, it's kind of chicken and the egg when you want to play a fast-paced game. Uh, you know, whether it's guys holding on to the puck too long, which stifles players away from the puck's urgency to get to open ice, or if it's guys not getting open, and that's why the guy's not moving the puck quickly. Uh, but tonight we did neither from the get-go, and that really, uh, really impacted, you know, what our energy level is. We wound up being late in the dance uh, most of the night as a result of it. Uh, again, if you've seen us play at all, you know puck pursuit and takeaways are a big part of what we do. And, uh, again, the fact that we were slow in other parts of our game meant that we were slow to engage or re-engage uh, in those other parts. So. You know, our guys have done a tremendous job up until this point, so I'd like to think that it's merely a bump in the road at this point. But again, certainly not an indication of who we are as a team. Coach, what was the energy level like on the bench, especially after getting down 3-0 early? You know, were the guys, did you see like they were getting very de de dejected by the end of that period, or was there almost a sense that the team was trying to fight back and this never happened? I think you you know you go through ranges of emotion, uh, you know, in a game like this. You know, obviously, you start to chip away at some momentum. You you get one shift turned into two as positive, and you know your your energy had bounced back a little bit. And, uh, and then obviously we make it make a mistake that was uncharacteristic of us, or we take a penalty, and uh, and obviously that takes the wind out of your sails a little bit. So it was a bit of a roller coaster ride for us emotionally tonight. We were unable to sustain any sort of positive momentum, uh, you know, to allow us to kind of get out of our own way at times. Is it helpful to be able to have the quick transition, be able to play again in another two nights? I really hope so. You know, I'd like to think so. Obviously, uh, playing tonight after playing at Maine on Friday did not uh, wind up working out so well for us. Uh, so I hope that the lesson is learned and that the, the quick turnaround will be a good thing. You've been around us enough to know, Nick, that we talk about having a short memory. Win or lose, we've got to tee it up the very next day and, and look forward. So uh, I'm sure it'll be tough to swallow this one tonight, but uh, tomorrow it'll be all about moving forward. And then can you just talk about Ole, you know, he, even though he got ejected, you know, he stood up for, for Ray Ole after he got hit. Is that what you like to see out of your team, aside from him getting ejected from the game? No, because it's, it's frustration at that point. You know, it's uh, it's not the discipline hockey that we'd like to take. You know, the whole play is precipitated because we take a penalty on a on a poor decision the shift prior to that. So they're looking for retribution because they think we're running at them because we're down. You know, now that leads to them taking a shot at our guy, and now that leads to us feeling like we need to defend our, our teammates. You know? So you can't just look at the one act and. And ask, is it a good thing or not a good thing? You know, we're we're all good teammates, and we do that in different ways. 
I would have liked for the series of events leading up to it to not have to put us in that situation. Now, is that just a game misconduct, John, and it, uh, and it doesn't follow the suspension? I believe it is a game okay. misconduct only, yes. Yeah. That was the way that it was described to me. Was there any disappointment on your part uh, the, the way the guys uh, sort of uh, didn't respond to the, you know, the, the poor goaltending, you know, the first two guys? Uh, did they be, that they were frustrated and... Uh, that our guys didn't respond to yeah, the... Yeah, you know, that they let the goaltending... Well, know, yeah, I, I would, you know, I, I certainly think that's uh, not been the way that we've played or proven ourselves in the past. We've been fairly resilient, so... Again, tonight's uh, a lot of things were not characteristic of the way that our guys have played. Uh, so and you're obviously, as a, as a coach, trying to come to some understanding about where the disconnect is or was for us tonight. Uh, you know, again, uh, certainly a series of events led us to not have a lot of energy. Uh, you know, we didn't respond as we normally have. Uh, you know, that was very, very evident. We lost our skill, I think, as the game wore on as well. So, uh, you know, a lot of things that were certainly not right tonight for us. And we'll certainly be at it tomorrow afternoon looking to change them.